Hello, my muggle friends. Grab your wand and let's take a trip to Hogwarts. We'll start off in a nice seated position and let the left ear drop down towards the left shoulder. Take a moment to breathe down the right side of the neck. Maybe letting the eyes close and releasing any tension. <laughs> There's my head wig coming in for a little yoga. That will draw the neck so that the right ear comes down towards the right shoulder. And breathing into the stretch here, try to relax, try to soften through the face, through the upper body. Lifting the head back up through center, we'll sweep the arms up overhead and exhale to twist towards the left side. The right arm can come over towards your right knee and the left hand acts like a kickstand behind you so your spine grows up nice and tall and the gaze is over your left shoulder, just like an owl looking from side to side. We'll inhale back up through center Exhaling towards the right side. Now your gaze is back over your right shoulder and the left hand may be resting on the left knee. Inhale to reach the arms up nice and high and bring the palms down towards your heart. Bring to mind an intention, something that makes you smile, and let that stay with you in your heart as we travel to Hogwarts. We'll come onto our train. <laughs> I got my little poochie friend with me. <laughs> so reaching the legs long down your mat, arms will reach up high towards the sky, finding your staff pose. And as we exhale, we'll lean forward so the hands rest somewhere on your body. Maybe it's at your knees today. Maybe you're able to reach your toes. But wherever you are, try and draw your belly towards your back for a nice long spine. As you exhale, sinking a little bit more forwards. It's always okay to have a bend in the knees. One more breath here, breathing in and breathing out. We'll start to walk the hands upper body and make our way into a tabletop pose. So here, our shoulders are stacked over the wrist, your hips stacked right over your knees. Belly draws in, so we have a nice strong back, a nice strong tabletop. As we inhale, the belly will drop down, the gaze lifts. And as you exhale, finding your cat pose, Round through the spine, a little tuck of your chin in towards your chest. Inhaling, the belly drops down, the gaze lifts. And exhaling to round through your spine, finding your favorite cat. A few more times like that, moving with your breath, moving with your body, starting to wake up the spine a bit here. You might even start to find some extra movements like big hip circles, moving around through your wrist, anything that feels nice. And coming back to a nice stable tabletop, the toes will tuck, we'll lift the hips up nice and high for downward facing dog. Starting to pedal up the feet here, just bending one knee then the other and letting your heels drop down towards the ground. Your finger pads and your palms are firmly planted into the ground. So you have nice strong arms.
We'll come back down into our tabletop. Send the right leg long back behind you. Circling through the ankle, wiggling the toes. And then gliding your right foot forward so it plants in between your hands and rising up into a low lunge. Feel the lower body rooting down into the ground. So you start to rise up through your arms all the way towards the sky. Releasing the hands towards the mat, we'll step back into a plank pose and lower the knees, the chest, the chin, all the way down to the ground. Inhaling the lift the head and the heart and exhaling back into our tabletop. The left leg will reach long down the mat, circling the ankle here, wiggling in the toes. And then letting the left foot come up in between your hands, rising up into our low lunge. Arms reach up nice and high. Looking out ahead, maybe you start to see the castle out in the distance. Release the hands down. We'll step the right foot up to meet the left. Hinging at the hips, find a nice forward fold. Allow for a generous bend through your knees so your upper back can just hang down all loosey-goosey. Inhaling for a halfway lift, a nice long spine here. Exhale to release down. Inhale to rise all the way up to standing. The arms reach up overhead and we bring them down towards our heart. Hands placing right over your heart. You have arrived. We'll make our way over towards the sorting hat, seeing where we might be placed at Hogwarts today. Inhale to sweep the arms up overhead. And imagine that you're placing the hat onto your head. Finding our Hufflepuff, step your feet wide, the arms reaching up in the sky like a big star pose. Hands will release back down. We'll step back in front of the hat sweeping the arms up overhead, placing our hat back on, and we have a Ravenclaw coming into our bird posture. We'll pour our weight into our left leg, leaning forward so the right leg lifts up and the arms reach out wide like bird wings. Imagine that you are this Ravenclaw flying through the air, Testing your balance, you might find a sway side to side. We'll rise back up through center, plant your foot down, and we'll take it towards the other side. So pouring our weight into the right leg this time, sending the left leg long behind you, and reaching the arms out wide like bird wings. Soaring through the sky, what do you see below? Let your gaze focus on a point below you, helping to keep your balance. Good, one more breath here. And release the left leg down. Arms sweep up overhead, planting the sorting hat back onto your head. We have Slytherin, our Slytherin snake. Make your way down to the mat. Stepping back through your plank posture and then lowering your knees, lowering your chest all the way down to the ground. On an inhale, we'll come into our snake, lifting the head, lifting the heart. Try and draw your shoulder blades together here. Legs are reaching out long back behind you. 
One more breath. And release back down. We'll make our way into our downward facing dog. Lifting the hips up nice and high. And then walking back up to the top of the mat. Inhale to rise, the arms sweeping up overhead. And one more time, placing the hat upon our head. We have Gryffindor. We'll make our way back down towards the ground. Stepping back through our plank. Lowering the knees, the chest, all the way down. And then the forearms will come down as we find our Gryffindor Sphinx pose. Legs are reaching long back behind you, drawing the shoulder blades together so you're opening up through the front of your chest and through your heart. The hands create this traction to the ground, so it's like you're dragging yourself forwards and that's helping to open up through your chest. One more breath in our Gryffindor. Hands will start to walk back behind you. We'll find a child's pose where the hips sink down onto your heels and the forehead can come down to the grounds. Find a few moments here, stillness. Noticing how you're feeling. On your next inhale, start to rise back up into our tabletop, then downward facing dog. We'll walk our feet towards our hands rising back up into our mountain posture. The hands will come down by your sides. We want to find our way over towards the forbidden forest. So let's put on our invisibility cloak. Wrapping it around you, let the arms swing from side to side. Find this lightness in your legs and your heels. Moving from the upper back to the lower back, but very gently, very kindly for yourself. You don't need to force these twists. We'll start to come out from the Forbidden Forest. And as we're making our way back, we see the Whomping Willow. If I'm in tree pose, the left foot plants down into the mat. The right leg will come up somewhere on the left leg, but try and stay clear of your knee. We don't want to put too much pressure on the knee. Hands can be anywhere that's comfortable, maybe right at your hips, maybe reaching up high towards the sky. Feel the roots growing out of your left leg down into the ground, keeping you steady, keeping you stable. hands can release down, right foot comes down, we'll just find a little sway side to side. And bringing it over towards the other side. Now the right foot plants down, the left leg will come somewhere on that right leg and start to grow your branches. We'll release down from our tree, stepping towards the top of the mat. Inhale to sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale to come down through a forward fold, hinging at your hips.
and inhaling halfway lift here, rising up for a nice flat back. Release the hands down to the ground. We'll step back through our plank. Lower the knees, lower all the way down to the mat. Inhale to lift the head and the heart. And exhale to send your hips back towards your heels. One more child's pose. Release the forehead down to the ground. Feel the earth underneath you, keeping you supported. Maybe casting a spell around yourself, expecto patronum, thinking of your happiest memory here. Picturing yourself smiling, laughing. We'll stay for five breaths. Happiness can be found in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light. Thank you for taking this ride to Hogwarts with me and hopefully we can go back again soon.